I hope that you had a great Christmas around your household. We did celebrating with my family. We're going to be heading to Nicole's family uh, at the end of this next week uh, to celebrate with them. But as we enter into this new year, we're going to be taking our final look at who Jesus is. Today, the first segment of this, we're going to be looking at that we need redemption. Paul, the guy who wrote most of the New Testament, uh, wrote this in a book called Colossians. He says, in Jesus we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Redemption is a word that has its root in slavery. Redemption is the idea of being bought back from slavery. But not just any normal slave, slavery where we, would be, where, where we would be forced into slavery. This is where we force ourselves to go into slavery. Imagine this. I know this image um, might be a little bit raw, but imagine this. Some parts of the world deal with this. That people feel like that in order to get by with life, they have to sell themselves and forfeit themselves into slavery. In many parts of the world, the, the, the big buzz around the world today is the sex slave trade. And some people, some families feel like that they are in such a spot that they have to sell themselves and forfeit, forfeit their freedom in order to go into slavery. And imagine being in this oppression. Whether you're in physical chains or, or, or not, that, that, that you are in chains, in oppression, that you're in charge that that the person in charge of you is a cruel master that you have to do everything that he says or else you can be subject to punishment or even death that he had, that he says do this with this person or do this with me or 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 do this physical act do this demeaning thing and you have to do it or else you'll be subject to beatings I know that's a pretty over-the-top image, but that's the image that Paul gives us with us and our sin. That sin is us forfeiting our lives away from a life of freedom into a life of oppression and chains and a cruel master that ends up leading us to death. A physical death and an emotional and spiritual death. And see, we spend all of our lives trying to run away from this death. We, we, we spend all of our lives trying to run away from a physical death. But guess what? Death is, is an oppressor. We have no control over death. It finds us and controls us. And this emotional and spiritual death, it finds us and controls us. And we try and control it, control it through many means. But we can't. We are enslaved to it. And maybe a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. That through your sin, that you wish you could overcome it. And you try and master it. And you try and overcome it. And what you think you have, just like a, a, a fly to a bug zapper, you just cannot escape it. We need redemption. As we go into this new year, um, read Colossians. It's four chapters long. Read it over and over and over again and see how Paul is trying to bring this out and show us who Jesus is and how that impacts our real life. And consider our need for a redeemer, for somebody to redeem us from the slavery of our sins through the forgiveness of our sins.